So now let me show you what the inside looks like. <laughs> I have to unlock it. So this is the story of the van. All right, here we go. So this is pretty much basic inside. I mean, it's it's a Ford at the end of the day. Out of all the other features in here, my favorite part is this uh, business card holder. It's a little, a little dusty. Hold on. There you go. So I'll keep the business cards in here. I don't know. Seems, seems so simple, but pretty cool. So I do remember when I first got this, I almost felt a little dorky in this thing because it is a van. I mean, the windows are super huge. I mean, you can see looking outside, standing outside looking in, you can see like my stomach up so you can see all the area i felt like a big old door just kind of like you can see everything but after a while after a while a quick while not long after i i felt super cool in this thing and you know it's just this is it's me now i mean so i'm moving on here's some of the, the lettering Ooh. i still try to keep it pretty fresh though even though i ain't doing crap for the next couple weeks i do try to keep it clean week to week i mean it's uh Back in the day, way back in the day, years ago, I used to roll up in a 1984 Nissan Datsun. It was it was well kept, but it was still a beater. I mean, I was tired of showing up that way. I figured if I wanted to play the part, I better look the part too. So. Obviously, I got a, a cage and stuff. I got padlocks on the outside, padlocks on the inside, padlocks on the top, padlocks everywhere. Uh, let's see, you got the railing. I don't really fit standing up in here, which is kind of kind of a pain in the ass sometimes. So most of the time, I just send my guys in here to unload everything and load up everything myself so I could just stare and but watch. It, it has crossed my mind like once. If my wife ever kicks me out, she never will. She loves me way too much. But if she ever does, you know, in a magical, mythical world, I could always just throw a mattress in here and live off my van. So here's a here's a quick tip. If you're uh, investing, and this is just investing in, in life, I guess. You know, if you're here and you want to get up here, don't invest in something that's like one step above, like right there. We're going to do something, do something that at least halfway or kind of closer up there because you're going to be chasing yourself, chasing you know, each level up, wasting your money going step by step by step by step. Just jump up. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck like me. I should have got a bigger van. And yes, I even got auto start because I'm an adult. Right before I got the van, I used to roll in, in a, uh, it was like a 2005 pickup GMC thing. It was, it was nice. It was, it was decent. Um, I used to haul my stuff with the trailers, uh, and then I used to have my regular day car. It was like a 93 Honda Accord. They were all just well-kept, older, late models. And then I traded all three, you know, the truck, the trailer, and then the Honda to get the van. That's just um, a little background of, I didn't just get the van, just additionally to the other cars that I had that were mine. I just got rid of everything and just got, that's my only car now as of now these are the the outside padlocks these are super cool nice and flush can't really get in there this is what the back looks like one without a lock so this just has the holes and stuff so mm -hmm. 